Welcome back everyone. My name is Siobhan and I am the proud owner and host of The Comfy Couch on the regular network. Our topic that we're going to be talking about today is damage. Let's go. Do we know how we have been damaged? Do we know who we came from that was damaged as well? Do we know if we have done any damage to anyone? It is so many more questions to ask, but let's just sit and ruminate on the three questions that I ask. Damage. We have to understand that being damaged, and we're speaking about our spirits, okay, and our emotions. When those get damaged, it pushes us naturally as human beings to a certain headspace. Some of us may become exceedingly overprotective, and some of us may not be protected at all and don't know how to set boundaries. Some of us may be flamboyant and boisterous and some of us may be absolutely shy and studious in certain things when it comes to non-social environments trauma plays a part in being damaged we have to learn how to heal our trauma the correct way we have to learn how to deal with our trauma the correct way so that when it comes time for us to face our trauma to face the damage or to even get our hands dirty and getting down and picking up that carpet where we swept everything to keep it sacred when it comes to getting down there to pull up the carpet and take everything out to finally deal with it how to be healthy and how to have a sound structure so that you don't lose your mind let me be clear about what I'm saying. I'm not saying that it's easy to go back 15 years of your life and dig up something that was absolutely horrendous that happened to you. It's not easy. Is it worth your mental, emotional, and spiritual being, being free? Free from those thoughts, free from the feeling, free from the anger, free from the rage, free from the bitterness and the resentment from whomever was involved with your trauma, even if you've traumatized yourself. Yes, that is a real thing to traumatize yourself. And people don't think like that. And we have to start being very aware. Our thoughts can traumatize us. We can constantly be in a zone where we make bad decisions and every time we get a reaction for our bad decision our bodies and our minds start to tell us hey you're indecisive you can't make good decisions this is going to lead to more drama and trauma you can't do that constantly setting us up to fail those evil voices and notions will tell us certain things because we have ingrained at our core drama we have ingrained in our core trauma and we have ingrained and made it normal to not talk about what has happened to us. We have made it normal to sit and never tell a soul, maybe a best friend, maybe your mom if you're confident in her, maybe your father if you're confident in him, maybe a good sister or a good brother or auntie. And But we have sworn to these people, please don't ever tell because I'm in fear of what this may do to the family. I'm in fear of what this may do to our friendship. Absolutely not, you guys. In order to free yourself, Seriously, in order to dissolve the damage completely, you have to be strong enough. You have to be willing. You have to have the zeal and the confidence to say something, to speak on it. Hashtag speak on it. Use your voice. If you don't use that voice, you lose that voice. And when I say the voice, I'm talking about our intrinsic selves. We start to lose our voices on the inside when we get damaged. 
We start to lose our hearts and our spirits and our wits about us on the inside when traumatic things come up. When family members start to bring up things, we just start to cringe or we uh, dissipate ourselves away from the situation completely because we don't want to hear about it. We don't want to go back. Some of us get PTSD from it. We get the smells. We get the notion. Our body starts to react and we're triggered. And then it sends us sailing off into a disastrous sea storm. All because we didn't open up our mouths and say, hey, yes, this happened to me when I was 15. Yes, this happened to me when I was five. And yes, this is what the result was, but that's not who I'm choosing to be. I'm not choosing to be damaged. I'm not choosing to let trauma rule in my life. I'm not choosing to be a broken vessel anymore. I'm choosing to see that, yes, that was a moment in my life, even if it was my fault where I made a bad decision to trigger me to have trauma or to be a damaged person. That's not me anymore. I choose to speak up because in my speaking up, in me being transparent, in me telling boisterously what has happened, I'm saving someone's life. People think that it's just a cliche. It's really not. People's testimony saves other people. They save little children. They save victims that may be falling victim to something else again. They save. They make safe places and spaces it really does this may be saving somebody from putting a knife down me speaking up and saying well this is what i experienced when i was here and this is what i seen when i was there it may save someone's life when we speak on it if you can't speak on it there's so many other therapeutic ways to get that out of your mind and your body and out of your spirit so it can stop messing with your soul you can journal it out. If you're a singer, you can sing it out. You love music, you can figure it out in music. You love to dance, you can use your feet and your hands to make the movement about your pain so that it doesn't continuously pain you in this beautiful thing that we are given, which is life. Nobody deserves to hurt forever. I'm not sure how many times I need to say that for that to be believable, but if I have to come on here every time an episode airs and say everybody in this world is deserving of healing. Because what we forget is that this young man that went to jail for doing this thing to someone was a hurt, damaged, traumatized and broken little boy that never got the opportunity to heal correctly because of what was passed down generationally. He never got a chance to see it another way. He never got the moment to speak his truth because he was either scared or it was taught that he should never say anything. So he grew up hurting people. That's real life for a lot of people. We're so quick to judge anybody that's in the prison system for what they have done, not looking at where they came from, where their mindset was, where their environment was. Whether they were homeless and hungry every day and faking it, going to school. Whether they were bullied and that did something. We don't think about that. And we need to start getting in tune and to be more compassionate and kind to people who don't look like us. Yes, I said it. People who don't look like us and people who don't think like us. It takes a strong person to be very open-minded to say, I hear you, even if you don't agree. To just agree to disagree and be peaceful about it. To never diminish another human being. That is damaging. Our words hold weight. Our words hold so much power. And we have to be very careful because our words are therapeutic. You're either feeding healthy things into someone's soul every time you come into contact with them verbally. Or you're either feeding negative things into their soul every time you come in contact with them. And they will always tell by the fruit that they bear from the conversation of being in your presence. Do you want to bear traumatic fruit? Ask yourself that. I'll give you five seconds. Do you want to bear damaged fruit? Do you want to bear broken fruit? I don't think so. Are you deserving of damaged, broken, and traumatized fruit? Absolutely.
absolutely not. Be brave, be courageous to do something that is not going to harm you or anyone else. That is a safe something, speaking, writing, dancing, going on a vacation to relax your mind, taking care of your mental, doing something of that sort to release the stress of damage childhood, damaged adolescency, damaged teenage years, damaged young adult years, damaged adult years. If you're an elder, what have you not said to your younger generation that could possibly be free for them? We don't have those talks. We don't sit down and listen to our elders tell their story about how they were raised and why we get some of these traits and it's damaging to us because some of us are parents now and we raise our children in the same cycle trying to figure out where did it come from. The person that breaks the cycle opens their mouth. I'm going to say it again. The person that breaks the cycle opens their mouth to speak on what it is, okay? That has been a detriment to the family so that they can rescue the future generation. I am still embarking on that journey to be brave enough to open up my mouth about things and not in an ignorant way like I used to because I would open up my mouth and I would say what I meant out of love but it would come off so hurtful and so brash and they would not receive it. And I'm like, but I'm trying to tell you it's the right thing to do. It was just the way I said it. I'm still working on it. I'm still getting it together. I just choose to know that I'm not going to be defeated this go round. And I want you guys to know the same. Don't be defeated. If you think you are damaged goods, if you know that your trauma always constantly surfaces to the forefront of your mind and you can't shake it, don't be defeated. Ask for help. There are plenty of resources that we need to learn how to find or ask someone to tap into so that we may live another day in peace and sanity. Not insanity, but sanity. Everyone is deserving to have a clear, free, unburdened mind. Okay, if you guys need any more assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out to The Comfy Couch on Facebook. I am on Instagram at The Comfy Couch LLC1. You can reach me on here at The Regular Network. You can also email me at The Comfy Couch LLC at gmail.com. Let me say it again that's The Comfy Couch LLC at gmail.com. As I always say, if no one told you that they loved you, I absolutely love you. If no one said that you're worth getting over your damage, fears, emotions, ideas, people could damage your ideas. That's a real thing. If no one said that you are coming out of your traumatic events and instances, I'm telling that to your spirit right now. You will fight this and you will be the victor. You will have victory over it. You got to trust and believe, okay? hang in there you are not a damaged soul you are not a damaged being that is not worth love that is not worth healing that is not worth peace of mind that is not worth joy you are worth all of that okay keep the good fight all right and until then make sure you guys love yourself and love each other all right